what he's saying is you can build wealth together mm -hmm. and then still get caught. I, I don't know if he contradicted himself. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure, but it sounds mm -hmm. like if that's what you need to be closer to marriage, then I'm all for it. Sure. But like in reality, and, and I'm not making this a generality, a lot of Christian marriages. Mm -hmm. Bruce Lawn. So let's pull this video up and let's 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 look at him convincing me why everyone needs a prenup. A prenup. I'm I am not on your side on this one. For now. I'm I don't and I don't even know if I'm willing to be swayed you know, like that, you know? Improve your life, right? Huh. Um, but I am pro prenup. I'm pro mm -hmm. protect yourself. Absolutely. I'm pro making informed decisions. Amen. Right. If you can make the informed decisions mm -hmm. and you can protect yourself, that is the best case scenario. Will it guarantee anything? No. Yeah. There's no guarantees. So do you think prenups are essential for someone like me where we got married? I mean, I've been married maybe 15 years this July. Both started out with nothing. Both started out poor. There was no prenup. My wife has helped me build up the business. She's created an amazing, stable home. My kids get homeschooled meals. She stays at home. I go get the get the bag. You know what I mean? In, in our situation, we don't have a prenup, nor do I do I want one, you know, um, because it's kind of after the fact, right? 18 years later. Yeah. But do you think in a situation where two people are starting and doing the Ikea marriage situation, would you still recommend a prenup? Yes. Okay. Well, yes. I'm, I'm up. Even, even if they don't really have anything, you know, because number one, you never know what you could have. Okay. But number two, just to remove some of the unfairness, even if your prenup just has two clauses, mm -hmm. the first clause is so important. No alimony. <laughs> If you want to split everything, halfsy, halfsy, 50, 50, fine. Mm -hmm. We work together and we built it all together. Fine. Mm -hmm. You take half of my stuff. I take half of your stuff. Fine. Guess what? When we're divorced, we're divorced. Why the hell am I seeing, sending you $3,300 payments month after month yeah. when you're when you're having with someone else? Right? Mm -hmm. That's a good point. So he's saying you can still be like, hey, let's say we split 50, 50 at the time, mm -hmm. but there's no continued. What he's saying is you can build wealth together mm -hmm. and then still get caught up in alimony and split everything 50, 50. Yeah, so you split everything 50-50. Let's say, let's say there's two there's two properties. Mm -hmm. Let's say there's a hundred K in the bank. Mm -hmm. And let's say there's a business, I guess that she's probably not a part of, right? Mm -hmm. Get the house, house, and then fifty K, fifty K. And then call it clean split. Also, everybody pays their own attorney's fees, right? Because if if mm -hmm. and I've <laughs> I've been the benefactor of this. Mm -hmm. If I know, if I represent your wife, Ruslan, and I know that you're paying the fees, you right, you, you they might get ran up. up. They <laughs> might get ran up because Ruslan got it, got it, right? Mm -hmm. So a, a, a prenup protects you from people like me, <laughs> right? <laughs> you need that protection. So it seems like the, the biggest thing for you is the alimony and the legal fees. Those, if, those are the if, two big things that like, if something were to ever happen, those things shouldn't be, um, one party shouldn't be handling it. Generally, if it, it depends on the case, if we're talking about two 22 year olds who won't have anything and they want to get married, fine. But things- well, I mean, that was our situation. I was 23 yeah. and my wife was 21. There you go. So, so if you so just so say, let's just flash back 15 years ago. Me and you were hanging out. We're friends. We're friendly. We end up at a at a, at a restaurant, and I'm like, man, I'm you know, I'm getting married in six months, or I'm about to propose. Would this be something that you would have brought up to me 15 years ago? Hundred percent. Wow. Okay. Hundred percent. So he he just said. So he said, it doesn't really matter if you're in your er, like 20, 21, yeah, 22. Yeah. yeah. But then he said he's still he would he would have still brought it up to me. He still would have brought it up because he's a professional. But he's mm -hmm. saying in general, it doesn't really matter if you're 22. I, I don't know if he contradicted himself. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure, but it sounds mm -hmm. like he doesn't care as much if you're younger. But as you get older, it means it's mm -hmm. I, that, that's kind of what I gathered. But he said he would he would have still brought it up to me as a as a yeah. guy in my early twenties. Okay. Because if if for some reason you know your wife decides to cash you out, mm -hmm. you know, 18 years, you know, does she work outside the home? No. This is what I see it, and maybe this is very blue pill of me. But my wife has also put her career on hold. My wife has also passed up a ton of opportunity. My wife has also passed up. You know what I mean? Like she's been the primary care provider, right? So if I were to have a prenup hypothetically when we didn't have anything we built a whole life together the re one of the reasons why i'm successful and i have no problem saying this is because i have a stable loving marriage i don't have a marriage i don't like i'm in an amazing union that allows me to go out and do the things that i'm able to do make the kind of money that i'm able to make so why would i why would i uh not want her to be taken care of right why would i not why would i want uh are you following along with what i'm saying like if, if if we were to separate like she's taken the bigger l financially in her entire trajectory of her life has she not married and been a mom and been a home uh, stay-at-home wife why don't you just control that why are you letting some 70 year old man determine how much your wife the love of your life mm -hmm. why are you letting this man determine how much support you are going to give you're your own man right what, what, do you, what do you mean by 70 year old are you talking about the court system i'm talking about that judge who's going to put that alimony on your ass uh -huh. why don't if, if you're such in the man and you love your wife so much why don't you put in the prenup how much well, alimony you're going to pay her well i'm, I'm asking these things because i think if someone's independently wealthy i would be 100 with you if i'm if i'm 30 and someone's worth a couple of m's i would be like yes yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer i'm asking these questions because I'm, I'm genuinely curious if you would have given me the same advice 15 years ago as a 23 year old kid 100 put zero alimony and if you guys get married in 18 years and she she uh puts her life on hold and all this and all that well guess what she gets 50 percent and you get 50 percent. but guess what you can do Ruslan? Mm -hmm. you can send her checks you determine how much you're going to pay. You determine how many months you're going to pay. Mm -hmm. 
You can pay 12 months. You can pay 24 months. You can pay 36 months, 48 months. You can pay 60 months, 72 months. You determine. You don't let some old man in a robe determine how much you are going to support your ex-wife. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing saying, oh, well, she sacrificed herself for the kids. And now, you know, she's not getting any support. No, you support her. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you're your own man. You're sure, in control of, of your destiny. So you decide how much you're going to support her. Of course. You determine what your alimony payments are going to be. And of just course. go from there. Of course. I think so that's she, fair. I, I think that's fair. I think, I'll be honest with you. You just changed my mind about uh, prenups. I think that's very fair. There we go. There you go. That's uh, a good argument, man. No, no, no. It's a good argument. A good but argument. I would I mean, never like. I would never recommend it. No, no. But I would also but I would, never. But I would not be. I would not be judgmental if someone like I'm less judgmental of the red pill being like prenup mandatory. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's I got, not, like it's I, not. like like I legitimately gets, yeah. get it. I get it. But whatever gets them closer to marriage, right? If that's what you need to be closer to marriage, then I'm all for it. Sure. But like in reality, and. And I want to see what listen, the in reality, like, like, the average income is seventy thousand dollars. Yeah. In reality, <laughs> the average man is not making anywhere near yes. to to pay alimony. In reality, the average man probably needs his wife to at least work part time or have a full on career. That's but, okay. the reality. But like married men, and, and I want to hear it from you too. Would you go back? Like how how would you foresee that conversation going? I again, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have like like like, I, like, I, like, like listen, listen to what I'm for, saying for Christian men. This is what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm going to now take this and give advice to young men to get uh, to get prenups. I'm saying I'm at the very least empathetic and understand now why the red pill community is heavy or some of the red pill community is heavy on prenups, even if you don't have independent wealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred percent. That's and, all I'm and, saying. And, and the stereotype with prenups was always uh, you're taking hundred percent of everything you have. Yes. You never thought about it from the lens, and I never have either, from the lens of what the lead attorney said, which was, you can set up your own parameters yes. of we split everything 50-50. Right. And so when you, so maybe, you, yeah, it's still su it's sus when you have to go to your wife and be like, or your your fiance and be like, sure. I have a prenup. And she's like, what? And you're like, it's okay. It says everything's 50-50. Yeah. She's like. Yeah. I mean, but, <laughs> but, 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 but so is like, <laughs> so is having um, a life insurance conversation. So is having right like all no. those are awkward conversations. Having a life insurance conversation, yeah, like if you, or a will, like establishing a will for like how you want and where you want to go and what do you want to like. Those are all weird conversations, but to not be like having. pre no because those are on the presupposition that you might may die early, which yes. you, you totally could. A, a and a in their world and in their world that's void of Jesus. Okay, yeah, someone may change and fall out of love. Yeah, yeah. and go cheat okay, on you. So I'm saying let's bring it back to our world. Because we're yes, not talking yes. to them right now. Remember, I'm having the conversation, and I'm not allowed to reference God or Christianity. Oh, or I'm Jesus. not talking about that. I'm talking okay. about this right here. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about this right here with our audience, with to the Christian guys dating. Mm -hmm. Like, do you think like, like it's probably not a good conversation to bring up? Our homie, our homie, yeah, who is not legally married. Yes, and I would be like, I wouldn't have been mad at him if he presented that. That's an outlier. Me, okay. me, and Melissa. I was living here. Before we were I, married, no, I would have, I wouldn't have presented to you. No, okay, okay. no, no. J John and his wife, no, I wouldn't have presented to them. Okay, okay. Like I wouldn't have been like, yo, you got to go watch this lead attorney video because <laughs> yeah. he changed my mind. No, 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 no. that's Be not careful. what I'm saying. That's not yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So for most people, I would say for non Christians, non Christians, I get it. Whatever. I totally, get I totally it. get it. I think Christians, if you're independently wealthy, I yeah. still think it's wise. As a Christian, yeah, yeah. If you're, if you're independently if, wealthy, yeah. I still think it's wise. If you're independently wealthy, if you're not but independently if you're not, wealthy, I think it's like a eh. lot. And a lot of, and to be fair, and I'm not making this a generality, a lot of Christian marriages mm -hmm. are fairly young, yeah, unwealthy. And I'm saying <laughs> now, now I'm saying if the homie was young, yeah, yeah. getting married, yep. and this was an issue of contention, I wouldn't be telling him you're a bad guy for wanting this. Oh, huh. yeah, I would yeah, be yeah. like, I get it, I understand. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. That it, it would just be like that. You know? Here's how it goes. Here's a prenup. Are you saying you don't trust me? Yeah. Well, <laughs> are you planning on are you planning on leaving me? Yeah. Is this are we are we planning our for our divorce before we even get yeah. married? Are, are you planning on leaving me? Right. No, no, I'm not gonna leave you. I'm yeah. never gonna leave you. I promise. Yeah. So you don't trust me. Yeah. Uh, I mean a little bit. A little yeah. Bit. <laughs> but listen, even at even at even at a 50-50 split, that's yeah. still a that's it's still it's still better, wiser, smarter, cheaper to work on your marriage. Preferably preventatively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes. even after the fact, if there's a bump in the road, 
take it about the marriage counseling because it's way cheaper. It's way cheaper than and yeah. than, than than going through what he's talking about. Hey, this clip is from our daily after party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only five dollars a month. Will you get access to the replays of our daily after party streams as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast? Discord access that's private and a discount code for our merch store, only $5 a month. And ultimately, it's the best way to help us conceptualize the gospel of Jesus using media, podcasting, and of course, YouTube. The link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment. The perks are amazing. You should get on there. It's only $5 a month. I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.